Your local weather authority forecast is brought to you by Dorset Automotive. Selling your car? We buy cars, trucks, SUVs at all Dorset locations in the Wabash Valley. Now, your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. Temperatures today, not too shabby. Check it out. Below normal, 79 and 59. 85 and 63 are the normal highs for this time of year. Looking south on the Great River Post Buildings Camp along US 41, a lot of cloud cover out there. Going to keep those clouds around the map, maybe some rain, probably after midnight if we get anything. Here's what we're tracking, a few showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. Dry weather follows, pleasant weekend next. Yeah, pleasant weather and a good weekend next, I should say. Right now at the airport, 77. The reporting station there can't identify clouds apparently because they're under the clouds. 79 is what it feels like. That's with 60% humidity, south breeze at 7, fast rising pressure, 30.03. No rain today. We're going to be well, about where we should be on rain year to date with this batch coming in tonight. We may not see anything here, maybe more northeast sections of the valley. And then as far as the drought, a lot better. Most of the area now is okay. The yellow shading there, that's dry. And then you get into moderate. The severest, that's up around Champaign. Low temps, comfortable this morning. Look at that, 55 Paris, 56 at the airport, 53 over at Bloomington, 50s across the board. And high temps pushing into the 80s here and there. Really upper 70s, low 80s, not a bad day in temperatures right now. Pretty close to those high temps. Temperature trend, wind's starting more subtly, so we'll start to see a bit of a warm-up as we go into tomorrow and next week at or below normal on temps. The good news, dew points, much better than what they were last week. No 70s or 80s out there. Winds out of the southwest tonight, 5 to 10 miles an hour metro view. If you go out, I don't think you'll see any rain tonight, after midnight, maybe. So just cloud cover, so no issues on the metro view. And if we get any rain, it's going to be a quick mover overnight and early tomorrow morning. You can see nationally, just not a lot going on out there. Here's a local look regionally. You can see everything sliding off northeast of us. That's why I'm tending to think we may not see much out of this. Now, future cast over the next 48 puts in those showers with maybe a rumble of thunder, primarily eastern and northeastern sections. we will see a little low kind of spin on through there, and that's going to be about it as far as rainfall. I'd say the farther are you are northeast in the valley as a compared to the southwest will determine your rain. Lighter off to the southwest, heavier off to the northeast. As you can see, 52 hundreds at Greencastle, about a half inch at Bloomington. And once that batch of showers is gone tomorrow morning, it looks like all of next week's going to be on the dry side. Monday, Tuesday, cloudy. A lot of clouds, but I think we'll stay dry. And then we'll see a lot of sunshine in here. And the cool temps are at least more seasonable weather. That's 85 and 63, the average high and low this time of year. That's going to persist all through next week. And it looks like the end of the weekend beyond that. So pretty nice stretch of weather coming up. For tonight, not too bad during the evening. A lot of clouds. Rain late after midnight if we get much. Maybe a rumble of thunder. 66 with a low. Early showers Sunday. Then we'll dry off. Still be cloudy for a while, but we'll break the clouds down a little bit. Go to 86 for the high. And then as we look ahead on the seven-day forecast, a lot of clouds in Monday and Tuesday. More sunshine Wednesday on into next weekend. Temperatures again. Most days are right around where they should be. A little cooler than most. So good stretch of weather coming up. Sports after this.